Hey everyone, Paul Wicke here, Wicked Barbecue. Uh, today, I am making a gluten-free pizza. It's a jalapeno popper pizza. Jalapeno popper pizza. Say that fast, six times. Uh, and the, the, the crust I am using, I'm not making it homemade, I'm using Bloomfield Farms uh, gluten-free pizza dough mix. It's really good, I've used it before. And on this pizza, there's gonna be bacon, of course, jalapenos, onions, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, uh, and a whole lot of love. So um, I'm going to cut up all my toppings first and make my sauce, which I'm making out of cream cheese and garlic and onion. Uh, I'm gonna make all that first uh, so it's ready to go. Gonna make mix up my pizza dough, put it on the smoker, and then bring it back out, add the toppings, and smoke it some more. So follow me along as I do this. And if you like this video, hit like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. I would appreciate it. Share it. And also, you can follow me on Instagram, wicked.barbecue. Um, so, yeah, I would appreciate it if you did that. Here we go. Okay, what's going to go in this pan here is going to be an 8-ounce pack of cream cheese, some sour cream, and this bacon chopped up and cut up in squares, plus a, a diced onion. So, uh, basically, I'm just going to... You know, cut this. And I'm not going to drain. I don't think I'm going to drain the uh, grease from the bacon because uh, I'm going to use that grease for the uh, sauce. So, cheese sauce, basically. So, yeah. Okay, the bacon is where I want it, crisp wise. Get a little uh, spoon that uh, kind of drains the grease and then transfer your bacon onto a plate with pink towel so it soaks up the juice a little bit or the oil, as you can see right there. And then again, we're saving this grease, maybe not all of it, but majority of it, to make the uh, sauce or the cheese for the uh, pizza. Okay, I took a lot of the grease out, but you can see kind of how much grease I have in there. So now I'm going to cut up the onions, put in here garlic, cook that a little bit, and then throw in the cheese and maybe a little sour cream. Okay, I made the crust according to uh, Bloomfield Farms directions. Now, this crust is gluten-free, so it's really tacky. So to spread this out, it's messy, but I put olive oil in my hands. And I did wash my hands, but there's about the only way to get this to spread out like you want it for uh, a good pizza crust. So now it's not sticking to my hands. Now, if I wouldn't have that olive oil on there, it'd be all over. So. I put a little of their uh, flour, it's not flour, but their pizza crust mix on the cooking stone. That way it won't stick, so when you go to serve it up, it comes right off, so. Right. Okay, there you have it. Now it's time to go put this thing on the pit boss. I'll show you how hot the pit boss can get at 450 degrees for about 13, 18 minutes, so. Then I'll bring it back in, let it cool a little bit, add the toppings, and throw it back on. Okay, getting my pit boss up the temp. Getting ready to go in there, and yeah, I got foil underneath that. And the real, only reason I did that is because my wife don't want to get that all greasy from uh, my <laughs> grill grates and not all smoky on the bottom because we still use that in our oven in the house. Okay, the crust has been on 18, 20 minutes. Cooled a little bit, and now I'm going to, the sauce that I showed you that I made earlier, 
I'm going to spread this over the top. I'm telling you what, guys, I'm really excited about this pizza. I've, and this is the first time I've done it, so uh, I'm experimenting <laughs> right in front of, uh, in front of you guys because I've never done this. So anyway, it should be good. It, uh, I mean, if you like jalapenos, which I love jalapenos, if you like onions, if you like cheese, bacon, uh, you're going to love this pizza. Uh, so, all right, I got this spread over across the top. Now, after I get this spread over across the top, I'm going to add uh, my jalapenos and the bacon and some more cheese, which is cheddar cheese. Doesn't that look good? Onion, sour cream, garlic, cream cheese. I mean, can you beat that? Honestly, can you honestly beat that? So, now I'm gonna spread across some jalapenos. And you know, I've seen some, I didn't know that there was actually such a thing until I, I was like, is there actually a jalapeno pizza? And the ones I've seen, they uh, slice it the jalapenos but I like this idea a little better because you get a little bite without the jalapeno pulling off each bite so All right let that hang got a little spot here my OCD is getting the best of me here so now some bacon and you know what there's no amount of bacon that I could tell you to do or not to do. Just do what you want. This was nine slices of bacon. Um, so, bacon is always good, no matter what. All right, so now I got that on there. I'm gonna add some cheese. And what I'm gonna do is I'll add a little bit of cheese and then uh, put it back in the smoker. Let this melt a little bit and then add a little more cheese. This has got to be on there for another 15 minutes or so. Alright. Does that not look beautiful or what? I would say it looks beautiful. Not over. Okay, let's throw this back out on the smoker. Okay, there it is. Mm. 